Although Hawaii public school students are starting the school year with distance learning, the DOE has been prepping for their return to the classroom. So what kind of changes have been made to ensure their health and safety during this pandemic? Joining us now with that is Randall Tanaka, DOE Assistant Superintendent of Office of Facilities and Operations. Good morning to you, Randall. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Aloha. Aloha. From a facility standpoint, what kind of protocols or plan has been different this year in comparison to years past? Well, I think I think it's it's a first step in a in, in a long journey. Um, the parameters have changed. I think the distancing and the cleaning protocols and the masking uh, are all part part of what has changed how we approach or what the classrooms will look like, what our food service will look like, and what transportation would look like. So we've, we've been going through this exercise since right after the Easter break. Um, we started to look at what could happen. So this design has been long in coming. We know that a lot of things have changed, but we continue to work and, and adjust and recalibrate to what the environment will be at the schools. It's a good day. It's a good step. Today is a good step. Can you tell us more about that new design then in terms of the classroom, how it's set up, uh, maybe outside the classroom and walkways, um, social distancing and all of that? Yeah, I mean, so let's start with, with uh, our day starts with transportation. So we've re recalibrated how many, how many uh, students we can put on a bus, where they're going to sit. What happens if a child comes to the bus stop without a mask? Well, we've provisioned the, the bus companies with masks to, to give to the child so they can come on the bus. Um, <clears throat> so when we uh, step into the classroom, we've mapped out the classrooms in terms of the distancing, uh, the protocols with, with hand sanitizing, making sure all our restrooms are, are loaded with soap and what our refreshment plan is. Uh, same thing when the cafeterias, the separation, uh, how many kids come in at a time. Uh, and this is through the cooperation of everybody, from from the bus company to our to our union members to to our teachers and our parents. So it's been quite a inclusive process. And what about other areas of the campus? I'm not sure which schools will actually um, be open in terms of uh, you know play areas or uh, public areas in terms of terms of walkways. How's that different? I noticed I passed by one public elementary school and there are um, painted walkways you know for going in certain directions and there's also markers to remind staff and students you must show social distance. So what other types of plans are in place? You know, actually, uh, what you described is exactly what has happened. We have marked the, the, the floors. We have marked lines between to, to keep traffic going in one direction and the traffic going in the other direction. Um, signage uh, and constant reminders and, and monitoring to, to make sure we separate the way we should be. So all, all what you have described is in place. What about cleanliness in terms of those who have to return to campus? They're probably wondering, uh, you know, are things going to be wiped down and how that all is all going to work? We, we have a, a frequency of cleaning strategy. Uh, when we, we have cohorts together, it's not as, as uh, intensified. But when we separate, we wipe down, we spray. It's all part of the protocol uh, that we've installed uh, for all the classrooms and all the common areas, um, high touch areas, handles, doorknobs, all of that all get wiped down at least at least once a day. And there'll be greater frequencies in the higher touch areas. And then lastly, how will meal service work for students who are now distance learning? So, you know, the, the, the thing that we did extraordinarily well when uh, we went right after the break was a program called Grab and Go. And we delivered meals on an individual basis to people driving up. So we learned a lot about, about that process. So that process is going to happen at our schools, a form of grab and go. If they, uh, they just come grab their meal and we try to keep them separated, uh, in the cafeterias, we have the six foot markers, uh, to keep the, the students apart. So, uh, the grab and go program and the meal service program will be 
extraordinarily well coordinated because we've had that practice. All right. Randall Tanaka with the DOE, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Let's go ahead and send things over to Chris.